When we're speaking truth, the pressure to perform wrecked me when I was a lot younger. And that honestly means that I completely lost my biggest dream being a high performer in um, showing horses, jumping, show jumping, which I absolutely adored, where I've worked 30 years for, you know, growing, having my own company. And the pressure to do it all so perfect and good and keep going at it and at it and at it, especially in my mind, it just completely shattered my dream. Welcome to this Thriving Tuesday. And this is what I want to talk to you about. You know, make pressure your best friend because otherwise it will ruin you. And there's no good in that. So let's be clear. Make time to find the little moments. I'm not talking about meditating for an hour because you will not make me happy when I have to do stuff like that. But, you know, make time for small moments that you can just come inside of your body and breathe a little bit, just into that stomach from your nose. Just, you know, where you can put both feet on the ground and open your shoulder, take in an open position and just let the air flow in and out. And you can do that for, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds and instantly feel space inside of your body and especially inside of your mind. Because what happens is the pressure keeps taking up the cortisol levels in your body and in your brain, which makes sure that your survival instinct will kick in, which will activate, you know, the survival mode being fight, flight, freeze, or for HSP, please, you know, that because that's what we do. And the thing is, what my problem was, was when I was show jumping and I was in competition, especially, you know, when it was the grand finale and the more pressure, the, the worse it would be, because I would constantly be in my mind, you know, thinking what, what could go wrong and, and how I have to do it, a good job and, you know, how everything depends on this moment and making it bigger and heavier than it's supposed to be, because honestly, it was my biggest passion. So it should have just been fun. And being good while having fun is also possible, you know, feel that space instead of, you know, the shortage of I have to perform in order to be happy or in order to be good enough or in order to be successful. At this point in life, you have to realize that all those things are already there and then you can have fun while being successful because that feels so much more spacious. That's for me, you know feeling that intern freedom is is all about these things it's about me having for example a lot of work to do 20 things on my plate and instead of freaking out inside because i still have to do this and i have to go there and i have to pick up that client and i have to work out that retreat and you know i have a call with that person and ta da da instead of doing that i can just focus on the one thing that i have in front of myself Take that deep breath, put my feet on the ground, you know, coming out of your head, into your body, into the moment and taking in that space. And for me, that just helps so much to be able to, to feel, connect with the space and, and the environment that I have. Because if I have 30 minutes to complete this task, then... It doesn't matter what the 20 tasks are after those 30 minutes. If I focus now on this moment, I have a lot, a lot of more freedom and time to finish the task than when I keep spending my attention and time in my head, in my mind, on those thoughts of everything that I have to do. So you get a lot more effective and efficient by being present and training your mind to being present in the moment. And then also, you know, when those big moments are there that you have to perform or you have to do an exposition or, you know, whatever your thing is, or you have a book launch or I don't care. When those moments arrive, you know, just always connect with 
your why, you know, the reason why you do this, why this sets you on fire, why this makes your toes tingle out of, you know, inside fun and pleasure and joy, because this is what you love. And how can you bring your focus and your attention back to why you liked it so much. And you will see that not only will your results be a lot better, because you are taking the pressure off by doing that. You already are good enough. You already are a superstar. You already are brilliant. You are a goddess or a god at what you do. And because of the person who you are, you know, you don't have to prove anything. You can just be your beautiful self and shine your light and let people enjoy whatever it is that you bring into the world. How would that work for you? <laughs>